As the title suggests, we've got a new Fuji recipe and a new lens. So let's get out of this stinking hot studio and go make some pictures. Before I even start making this video, I've been working on my summer Fuji film recipe. Here are just a few snaps of me playing around, getting it just right before introducing you to the lens and the recipe itself. Okay, that's a hell of a lot better than that studio. But I've also had to find some shade because it's so hot today here in England. But yeah, I am here with a brand new lens and a brand new Fuji recipe. Now for ease, I'm just going to call this my summer Fuji recipe. If you can think of something nice, write it in the comments and I'll call it that instead. But not only am I shooting with this Fuji recipe, I am now shooting with a brand new lens. Now I mentioned I got a new lens just the other day. That is if you've been checking my community posts on YouTube, but you'll see that the brand was Viltrox and that it is Viltrox's latest offering. This has come at a great time because I really wanted to replace my Sigma 56mm because I recently sold that when I was in Japan. So this has come at a really good time. This is 56mm and 1.7. So not as wide as the Sigma. So I'm out shooting with this new Fuji recipe and I'm testing this new Viltrex lens. I will link everything in the description and I'll probably mention the new summer recipe in my latest scene. But if you want this Fuji recipe now, wait till the end of the video Will I will disclose all of the settings that you can punch into your Fuji camera and uh, achieve the same result. Anyway, it's too hot to be messing around. Let's go take some photos and we'll talk more about both of these things in a moment. If you enjoy this channel and watching me review lenses and gear and all that kind of stuff then I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel. This community is growing fast and I'd love you to be a part of it. So if you'd like to join us hit that subscribe button right now. And now the sun is on the hood. In the wilderness is just It's all I have to trust I've been waiting for so long Okay, so before we get into this review I have to admit 56mm is not my favourite focal length So if I do sound slightly negative about this lens it's mainly because of the focal length. I'm just not loving it at the moment. I have owned a 56mm before, but 56mm for something like street photography, which I predominantly do, is not my favourite go-to focal length. However, there are many, many pros to having and owning this lens. The first thing we have to talk about is just how affordable it is. Having done just a quick search, you can pick this lens up for only 180 bucks, which for something like this is, I think, a steal. If you're comparing this to something like the Sigma 56mm f1.4, or even the 56mm from Fuji f1.2, I think, and you don't want to max out on either one of those, this is your best buy. Yeah, it's a budget buy, but things like the optics are fantastic. The images I was able to get straight out of camera were stunning. All of the images you're seeing are straight out of camera and they're using the Fuji recipe that I've developed, the summer recipe, if you will. Like I said, if you've got a better name for this, then write it in the comments and stay tuned because I'll, I'll share it with you at the end. But as you can see, there's no faults within the image quality. I really like what I'm seeing in my images. But one of the biggest things I like about this lens overall is the weight of it. It is so lightweight. There's nothing to this thing. I was a bit surprised actually when it came in the mail that it was as light as it was considering, you know, it's a 1.7 aperture and having had the Sigma 56mm before this, uh, you know, I thought there'd be a little bit more weight. But when you pair this with my X Pro 3, this is such a good little setup. And if it's not street photography you're doing, then going around shooting in a different scenario is going to be an absolute joy. 
I do really like the overall feel of the lens. It's a nice build quality. There is no aperturing. Similar to the 56mm from Sigma, this is you know, something I've talked about at length. I really desire and want an aperture ring on my lenses and this doesn't. So a slight niggle, but again, for the price, you know, it's, it's a, it's a minor thing because you can just use the front or back dial to assign how you want to set your aperture. I don't really use a lens hood, but I quite like this one. Um, especially if I'm chucking around in my bag, you know, banging, I don't want to bang the front lens. So I don't know. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Yeah, overall, it's a good looking lens. It's not, you know, ugly. And and if you've been watching this channel, you know that I'm quite fond of Filtrox. They're a great company. And my last Filtrox lens I had, the 30mm, the image quality was outstanding. I do prefer a wider field of view, but with this, I have enjoyed it. It's just street photography at the moment. I'm, I'm really digging something like an 18 mil or a 28 or something like that. I, I kind of want just a little bit kind of, I want something else, you know, that's for here and now. And, you know, talk to me in a couple of months and I'll probably have a different opinion. The focus ring itself is pretty nice. Again, it's very similar to the Sigma 56 mil, but much more affordable and the aperture isn't as wide, but it depends what you're using this for. If you are wanting to shoot more at nighttime in low light, then I would push you towards the Sigma. But for everyday use, I think if you want an affordable 85 mil equivalent short telephoto lens, I think this Viltrox will do you. I really like the photos that I'm producing with this lens. So like I said, there are three tiers to what telephoto lens you got. You got the Fuji, that's most expensive. You've got the Sigma kind of midway, which I've owned and can recommend. It's a great lens. Um, and you've got this. It's kind of a gateway to your short telephoto prime lenses. It's got a nice aperture. It's not the widest, but it's going to do the job. So overall, really beautiful little lens. A big thank you to Viltrox who sent this out to me. They have not paid me. These are my honest opinions of this lens. They just sent it out and wanted me to review it. In short, I love this lens. Wish I was an aperture ring, not my favorite focal length, but would recommend it to someone who would want something like this for everyday use. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for sticking around this long. If you have, I am now going to show you my summer recipe. I think that's fine as a name, but... <laughs> Anyway, here's the recipe in its entirety. Enjoy, shoot away, send me any photos you like. I'd love to see how you, what you do with these recipes. Um, it's just a bit of fun. So it's nice to share in the community. Anyway, look, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.